Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Welcome to season five of Winner Home on SABC3, South Africa's premier interior design reality show. I'm Tabi Somakubela and we are coming to you live on SABC3. Man, I'm so excited. How's it going, dude? You good? It's all good. We're here again. Ooh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm Danilo Acquisto and over the next three months, we follow three competing design duos as they transform three empty penthouse apartments into designer properties at the part of a lifestyle estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. And at the end of it all, you, yes, you at home, the person I'm looking at right now could be your winner of your very own dream home. How cool. Wow, well, that's not all. Today we launch our brand new weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway. Behind each of these doors, we've hidden a prize. And later in the show, we'll draw one lucky name from the competition entries. Indeed, if we draw your name, we'll call you live on air, where you can open one of these three doors and win the amazing prize that's behind it. Now, hidden behind these doors tonight are a 5,000 Rand Durham Paint Voucher, a 5,000 Rand Valence Voucher, and a 10% Sation Supreme Queen Bed Set from Vencasa to the value of, listen to this. Okay. It's best sleep in your life. All right. 50,000 rands. Oh my word. It gets even better than that. After you've won the door prize, you also stand a chance of winning a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 uh, smartphone with Bluetooth remote, S Pen, AI camera, PC luck performance and built-in decks with carbon sheet cooling. Sure. And if you're a Capitec bank, you could win an additional 5,000 bucks. Man, we should be on the other side of this camera, I tell <laughs> I you. Know. So many prizes, so little time <laughs> left to enter. Entries for tonight's competition close at 7.45 p.m. So you have less than 15 minutes left to enter on privateproperty.co.za. So make sure that you keep your phones handy because we be, could be calling you live later on in the show. Well, now is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's head to Parafle Lifestyle Estate to find out what our design uh, duo's first challenge will be. <laughs> Design contestants, welcome to your first challenge on Winner Home Season 5. To kick things off with a bang, we're going to be throwing you right into the deep end with a double challenge. Yo, we were not expecting that. It's double the trouble. Yeah, but there's two of us. We can definitely handle that. Yep. <laughs> You'll have to design and decorate both spare rooms for this challenge, and there's a twist. You may not make both of the bedrooms a spare bedroom. At least one of the rooms needs to be something creative. Try and be as unconventional as possible. Sure. Two rooms, one challenge. One challenge. Oh. That's the deep end. We, we're going to have to swim now. All right, two rooms. Mm, yeah, we can do this. Now, in order to get your creative juices flowing, let's start you off with some inspiration. Let's take a look at what private property says the market is doing with spare rooms. As you can see, a home study seems to be pretty popular. People would like to work from home, but not work from just the bedroom or the lounge. Then for the expanding families, nurseries are quite popular. And as you can see, multifunctional spaces seem to be what consumers are looking for. A space to break away from the everyday life. I do have a surprise for you, however. Your entire apartments will be fitted with real hardwood flooring from Oggy. And that's where we'll begin. So design contestants, get shopping and good luck. Really amazing that all the teams are getting flooring by Oggy. Hardwood flooring, really, really proper stuff. Oggy's showroom is gorgeous. I absolutely love how they've set out their entire staging and how they have all their products on display. Welcome guys to Oggy Flooring. This is the place to come for natural oak flooring. Oggy is a wonderful product. It's a natural product. It's all solid oak, engineered, all FSC, so it's a sustainable product. We've got a 30-year guarantee as well. It's something that is an investment. It warms your house. Underfoot feeling is great. The acoustic value to it as well is great. And really, we've got various different ranges available. Some of our products you can customize, so you can choose your width of board, which is great. Also, various color options. 
options as well. We, you can choose a product that has very few knots, a lot of knots, you know, you can really make it your own. What I'd recommend for your apartment is our owner range, which is a slightly narrower board. It's a 190 width by 1.9 length. It's great for compact living. It's a good size plank in that space as well. We've got two styles there, so the rustic style with a lot of knots can give a certain character look, but also the living style, which has a wire brush finish, um, it's got fewer knots, that's also great for a contemporary style home as well. Oh, the range is so beautiful. Oh, they've got such beautiful colors to choose from. Um, can't we take two? There are so many options to choose from and oh, just all so gorgeous. I don't even know where we're going to begin, but there's a couple that are calling our names. We, we, we feeling a few. So many options. We just don't know which one to pick. Do we go light? Do, Do we, we go, go dark? dark? Do we go for the chevron? Yeah. I am really enjoying that brushed finish. It like mm. really brings out the grain and I think like when you see the light reflecting off those planks, I think it's really gonna bring it out. You choose one type of floor, but you get so much variation from that one type, the style. Mm. We love to shop. Furniture shopping, here we come. Yes. Well, the other duos better watch out because we definitely know how to furnish a shop and we're going to have so much fun at Valence. I'm not a shopaholic, but if it's furniture, I'm going crazy. And the key item that we're looking for is a bed. Ooh, this is our bed. That's perfect. This is our yes. bed. Yes. The boys picked the same bed. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. You don't really have to use the headboard either. That, that's... Oh. oh my god, this is it! It is! Oh no. So oh, pretty. I love I it. Love it. I, I love, love how mad it feels. Those girls, the sass. <laughs> girls, it's late for this bed. Eh? It's really late for this bed. This is ours. We've already ordered this bed. Come what do you on. mean it's already? No. Come on, guys, be gentlemen. Like, we chose on. this first, we, we you chose guys. It. They just tried to take our bed from under us. Whatever, the store's got many options, so we'll find <laughs> something better. Bye. It was insane, but we nailed it down. We'll find another. Mm. Hi guys, hey. I see the coast is clear. Yes, most Dodge certainly. Dodge that bullet. Obviously you all like this bed. It's locally manufactured and made out of solid oak. And you can have the base in a natural finish as well, if you prefer. We'll definitely be able to sort you out. Let's get on that before the girls do. ASAP. Wow. Well, everyone is running around looking for furniture. I'm going to take out my Samsung Galaxy. We check out the private property app to see what Somerset West has to offer and look for some inspiration. You know, take a moment. Oh my goodness, how lush is this little space? This is amazing. Waylands has plants that has definitely changed the game for us and has excited us immensely. We're going to get our jungle vibe on hard and just clear them out. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> How perfect are these, these for our space? Amazing. Hi ladies, I see that you found one of our statement pieces. This is quite untrained at the moment. This is a dual function. You can actually have the light and then you can also use it as a planter. How does it work with watering these plants? Well, with this specific plant, the aloes, every two weeks you can take it out, dunk them into water for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then you can just put them back in yes. and they will live like that for two to three years. Absolutely perfect for our space, these. And I'm assuming the artificial lighting does definitely help with promoting plant growth. Yes, it's like your own baby incubator. <laughs> We have found the bed. Yeah, the boys, they can keep that one. We found the perfect one. Right? True. Great. Do oh my Hello gosh. ladies, I see you have found your bed. Yes, yes we, we have. have. You might have lost out to the boys, but you've definitely won with this bed. It's a brand new design we've just launched. It's gonna be very popular, I think, because of the simple lines, such good value. It's perfect for compact spaces. And also compared to the wooden bed that we saw earlier, it's much better value because it's not solid timber. It's both locally manufactured, so the quality is amazing. Great, it's great value. <laughs> we win. Have you ordered yours yet? Yes, we have. Well done. Bye-bye. See you guys soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Yo. Ooh. This day bed is luxe. Ooh. Hey. We could use this in the studio, actually. I think it'll be ideal, like, as a day bed in there. Most certainly. I think this is perfect for the guest bedroom. What do you think? By the side of the bedroom. Right? Yes. Yeah. It also both as a side table 
I don't know bookshelf. On a bookshelf, I mean, whatever really. You I could mean, put like ornaments on right? it. It's interesting. And also in terms of like height and oh, like yeah, it's symmetry. symmetry in the Definitely. room. I, yeah. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. We're coming with you. Don't you just like banging on things now? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Everything I touch, I, I hit on. <laughs> but I mean, it must be the passion, right? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is beautiful. Like, yeah. I think we're scoring. Yeah. Yeah. They're having so much fun, there's nothing like a shopping session to get things started. Now remember, you only have a precious few minutes left before entries close for tonight's Capitech Open the Door giveaway. So go to privateproperty.co.za right now and get entering. We'll be right back. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private Property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Win at Home Season 5 live on SABC3. Myself and Tubbs, loving hanging out with you guys this evening. Keep using the hashtag Win at Home and interact with us on Twitter. Now it's time to get uh, soon back to the action on Win at Home, but don't forget the entries are about to close shortly for the entire competition. So head over to privateproperty.co.za and get entering now. That's right, back to the action. Now you're tuning in and wanting to see all this action happening on this show, right? It's our design duos. They're gonna be doing some amazing things. Uh, today they're choosing flooring. There's no turning back for them as their first installations begin. This is looking amazing oh, already. Oh my word. Yes, this was a very brave and bold choice. They're, they're very strong. I mean, if we just take the time to actually admire this tower, it is gorgeous. I just, I really love this. I love the matte feel. It's just, it's beautiful. And I think it's, it's fresh, it's very crisp, it's unusual. And I mean, no one's gonna go for this. It was a great decision, actually. Yes, And it's the first thing you see when you enter the kitchen. Yes. We have decided to remove all of the internal timber doors in our space because we have a little something up our sleeves that I think is going to look really awesome. August lead times is amazing. I mean, they're already here. Yeah, I don't even know if I had my mind properly made up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Augie is delivering on floor yep. and we are excited. And I think we're the only two duos who actually picked two colours. What Ooh, does that mean? Exciting. Double Winning. magic. Moisture barriers going in now, and they look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> We're visiting Vencasa, home of the Temper mattress, because you can't put a price tag on a good night's rest. Good day, ladies. You enjoying yourself? Yes, we've made ourselves very much at home on your product. You feel lighter than you usually are? Yes, we feel like we're floating on a cloud. This is amazing. Okay, those words are perfect because you are on a cloud. This is our cloud mattress. And what it does is it distributes body weight and makes you feel lighter. The reason why I suggest you go for Temper, it's very unique. The formula is only known to us. No one can copy our brand. That's why Temper is special. You would look at a lifespan of about 25 to 30 years. Luxury-wise, you're basically catching up on all your sleep. You're not feeling your partner. If your partner tosses around and turns, you really cannot feel him. It's got breathable cells, unlike other beds that basically don't breathe and blood circulation isn't possible. So in any health term, circulation of the blood is very important. Do you have any different uh, comfort levels or firmness options available? We've got three different comfort levels. The one you're on is the cloud, then you get a sensation and you get the original. The sensation is more of a traditional feel, a more bouncy feel. A cloud, as you feel, is a more huggly, cuddly feel and then you get your original that is actually patent, that has an epico to it, where people can actually purchase it through the medical aid because of the, the part of the blood circulation. And is this your choice? Yes, definitely. I feel like I can't even be separated from this mattress right now. <laughs> It would have been really nice to have had a nice little catch-up snooze, but way too much to do. Nikki from the Augie showroom really was right. You can't fake natural, and that, that variation that it brings, it's, it's really something special. And the size of the planks also. It's amazing how the narrow you go with the size 
the whole space looks bigger. Yeah, really does feel bigger. We're giving them something a bit more difficult to work with. We want shapes, you know, tile shapes, and of course the wood that's carved around those, those tiles. And uh, we just hope that they can execute. But they did promise that they can deliver, right? Yes, they did. Okay. We really wanted to bring in a natural element to our bedroom, and I think we've just found the perfect pieces. Getting those poles on that car is a mission. And realizing that weight for the first time. Mm. We are saving a lot of money, though, by just using our own transport. We had the rack. Exactly. <laughs> Might as well strap to it. We use it. Well, whatever the guys are up to there, I'm pretty sure they're hoping it'll put them in pole position, right? <laughs> Right, that's it. The entries for tonight's Capitech Open the Door giveaway have now officially closed. But there is some good news, always. It's that you can now start entering next week's uh, Open the Door competition. So keep voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. It's really, really simple. Now, coming up on the show, our design duos are surprised by a very familiar face. Who will it be? We'll be right back. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitech. Welcome back, friends, to Winner Home on SABC3. We're coming at you live and direct. Now, for each challenge in this season of Winner Home, our design duos are des a designated a mentor. And this mentor will not only offer them advice and guidance as they work to create a beautifully designed space, but will also act as the guest judge for that round. For the spare room challenge, we've called in an all too familiar face, and he's on site just in time to catch the fully installed woodwork flooring. <laughs> The flooring is in and it is looking so good and it feels good and the whole apartment is just life, I guess. It's just been breathed into it. It's, it's wonderful. The mentor's on their way right now. I'm very keen to know who it is. It's going to be interesting to see how they'll guide us through these bedrooms. I'm Rudolf Jordan. I'm an interior designer and I have established my own company, Apex Design. I used to be a lecturer at Inscape Education Group and CPUT. I've been involved in retail, commercial and hospitality design projects and it's that variety of projects that continues to fuel my passion for interior design. Being a design contestant in season three of Winner Home showed me the importance of your network because you're working with tight deadlines here and you need to make the best of this project in the shortest period of time. Winner Home is really the only competition of its kind in South Africa and it is really important to understand what it does for a business and a designer. I was able to establish my own business so I understand the importance of the design contestants putting their own fingerprint on each of these tasks. I certainly have empathy for the design contestants. I mean, I was there myself, but I really want the quality and workmanship to reflect in all their projects. Puma Peeps! Hey Rudolf, how's it going? I'm Melissa. I'm Sinead. We know who you are. Welcome to our space. I see you making some good progress with the flooring. Yes, it's all in and installed and looking fabulous. Amazing. But I'm not here to talk about the flooring. I would like to know what you're doing for your first challenge because I'm here to mentor you. Awesome. Why don't you show me around? Let's go take a look. I'm extremely excited. I've actually followed him for quite a while and I do know him as a designer. So I'm actually quite excited to have his input and get some of his feedback. You have two rooms for this challenge and one has to be a bedroom and the other not. This is going to be the bedroom and the other room is going to be our multifunctional activities room. Oh, that sounds amazing. So what do you have planned for this room? We're focusing a lot on minimalism and permaculture principles. So we have designed this space to have a very minimalistic built-in steel open storage. We find the more closed space you give people, the more stuff they hoard and hide behind those closed doors. So we're keeping it open. And we've got a beautiful steel custom-made bed base that's coming into the space um, that's been designed through my business, East House. And the activities room sounds very interesting next door. What do you have planned there? We're very excited about our activities room. It's going to be a multifunctional space and we have designed it so that 
There's a whole lot of storage along the one wall, floor to ceiling storage, with a sneaky hidden built-in Murphy bed, um, which we like to call our Murphy Law, Murphy's Law bed, just in the hope that nothing actually goes wrong, Murphy's Law. And it just gets installed correctly and works. <laughs> so we're going to be cladding the underside of that hidden bed with mirror, so that when everything's folded up, it actually becomes a lovely yoga room or gym room. And then in the corner, we're going to have a fold-down desk and there'll be cork cladding where you can put all your planning and have your pins and pictures or whatever it is that you'd like to put on there. Hopefully it all goes to plan and no Murphy's Law steps into the <laughs> equation. Well, touch wood or touch cork in this case. Seems Rudolph is very impressed with us. We seem to have all our bases covered and we're sorted. I like what Melissa and Sinead have designed for the multifunctional room. Their planning seems on point, but it's not installation day yet and it all might still unravel. This is gorgeous. Danilo promised us a mento. Um, so we're just sitting here waiting to see who it is. RNK! <laughs> it's Rudolph. He's worn this before. He knows exactly what it's like to be in our shoes. Well, this is definitely a game changer. Of course it is. Thank you. That's what we were hoping for. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. I love it when designers can take a risk. So show me what you have planned for the rooms. Oh, definitely. We've got a couple of things to show you. So he likes some of the choices we made. And uh, we hope he continues liking them. So these are your two rooms for the challenge and they both have to be completed at the same time. Yeah. What is your plan and strategy here, ladies? <laughs> this one is our guest bedroom. Simply because of the window. I think loss of light, excellent. In the spare bedroom, we had to decide between a yoga room and a glam room. And we thought which one is going to be more favorable. So we decided to go with a glam room. Ooh, I like the idea of the glam room. But first talk me through your guest bedroom. Well, we were thinking wooden floors, white and grey walls, pattern, green, you know, just, uh, just so it looks good. For me, when you talk about guest room, I think escapism. This person needs to be happy to be in this space. It's a space away from their norm. We're using the hexagon shape sort of frame with, for our flowers in the guest bedroom, simply because we want to continue with our theme with hexagon shapes. I mean, from our kitchen floor, it's very bold, and so we wanted to carry that through. There's a language. Um, it's playful. This is a very sophisticated client, but also she's got a bit of play. And I'm really interested to know more about the glam room. Okay, well, let's, we, be, let's start it. <laughs> well, <The> glam room. <laughs> when we got these magazines, yeah. we thought red. Wow, we have to have a little pop of color in yeah. there, and different from what we have in the, in the other spaces. So we thought black, white, a little bit of Chanel. Uh, literally, I was like Coco Chanel. As she was speaking, <laughs> she was coming in my head. So yeah, it's, it's a glam room. As we said, I mean, we don't have to say much. You know what glam room is about? They're about glamour. The key features of a glam room have to be the lighting and the storage. What did you plan there? Uh, well, we were thinking um, we'd have lighting around our mirror. Rudolph reminded us of lighting in a glam room. Mm -hmm. And we did think about that, but we can put more. Make it bright, shiny. <laughs> And of course, in this room, we have tons and tons of mirror, which is it's great. It also adds to the illusion of light. And then, of course, storage. What's a glam room without storage? She's going to have so many things in there. We have lots and lots of shelving. And uh, we have a surprise feature, which I can't talk about. And you just have to stick along to see what we've got in plan. <laughs> well, I do love surprises, so I can't wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> I really loved meeting RNK. They are such a dynamic team, and I really think they will bring something quite unexpected to this development. I do however feel that they need to plan the glam room a little bit better. The detailing around the lighting and especially the cabinetry needs to be done well. Surprise, surprise. Hi, how are you doing? doing? Very well and yourself? Yeah, Super excited that the mentor is Rudy. Yeah, yes. Our ex-lecturer. Put us by surprise. Interestingly enough, I lectured Nick and Kumile at Inkscape Education Group a couple of years ago. So I won't be cutting them any slack because I know what they are capable of. I taught them after all. Are you guys following in my footsteps? Most definitely. <laughs> Good try. Surprised to see you. <laughs> well, you have big shoes to fill. How are you going to impress the judges? We've really considered every surface of the space and then paid quite a lot of attention to the smaller details as well. Let's start with the flooring. On the floor will be carpet and we'll be wrapping the carpet up as skirting so we're very keen to see how that comes out. It's going to look very luxurious but also still very comfortable. And on the ceiling is our DIY project which will be timber slats being hung from the ceiling and we're very keen to see how that works out because we'll be doing that ourselves. 
But guys, how are you going to impress me? We actually have focused on the details, but you will be quite impressed with our headboard design that we'll be putting on this wall over here. Yes, we've, we've done that in a, a camo green and it, it wraps around these walls and kind of it really holds the bed. Um, so we're really excited to see how that feels. But wait, have you considered the plugs behind the headboard? We certainly have. So we've actually had uh, end slots in the headboard where people can access the plug points. So we've thought about that too. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, I like that thinking. And what is the other room going to be? Next door we've gone with a study. It's a bit of a reading nook, a bit of a private space. It's not anyone's room, but it's somewhere where you can kind of get away and get a bit of personal space. Color-wise, in our studio, we've gone with a more lighter shade of pink, which I have here. And we just use that color to bring a bit of lightness in the room. And we'll have some bespoke shelving with steel sheeting, which is going to be very laser cut with triangles. The shadows are going to be very beautiful. So we're very keen to see how that's going to work all together. Well, guys, it sounds very, very exciting. But my only criticism would be that I think you might be using too many materials here. You have timber slats, you have melamine, you have steel, you have carpets, you have upholstery. So just be cautious of how you're going to use it and make sure that you can carry that through, through the entire unit. It is, it is a lot of materials and it is going to be a challenge. But we foresaw this, so we're going to kill it. I know Nick and Kumele and what they're capable of. So I'm pretty sure they will pull this one off. But they must just be cautious about how they use all the materials. Oh, the drama and the design will continue. Thank you so much for all the comments coming through on social media, live on SABC3. Don't forget the hashtag WinnerHome so we can find all your comments. I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone with me right now. It's connected to the TV via the SmartThings app. So let's see what you guys have had to say thus far. Um, I found a tweet. We asked you basically what you would do with the home if you had won. And someone said, if by the grace of God I win this penthouse, I'll be full of joy. I would offer my gratitude towards him. First of all, uh, it's been a big dream of mine that one day I own a house and that I, at one day, there will is also going to be a lot going on in my life right now and a house will be a great gift. Another one of you said, when we go check this guy, says, um, uh, win a home show would be so nice to win a home. Awesome cool prizes as I'm a young aspiring individual craving a home for myself and a little family. And then one more said, uh, Kajiso says, I'm gonna share my winnings with my family. Hashtag win a home. Thanks for all the comments. Please keep them coming through. Hashtag win a home. Now to create truly designer spaces, the duos must consider bespoke pieces to take their rooms to that next level. More of that after the break. The Note 9 is a game changer with more power than you need. But why have a remote control for a phone? <laughs> That's why. The new Galaxy Note 9. It's got more power than you need until you need it. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. Be part of the action. Hashtag Winner Home on Twitter. Now, Winner Home is all about highlighting local design talent. And this season, for each challenge, the duos will collaborate with a South African designer or artist to create a key bespoke piece to elevate their space. Now, for the spare room challenge, the team R&K have decided on a statement art piece. <laughs> For our glam room, we are collaborating with Donna Solove. I found her on Instagram and I think she's impeccable. Her work, amazing. And she's female. And we are all about female empowerment. Our glam room is about that. When you walk in there, you need to feel super power. So we commissioned her to paint a pair of red bottoms. We've come to see what she's up to and if she's done the right things. Here it is. Oh my, it looks so beautiful. It really does. It's so bold. Isn't this your first shoe? Well, every girl has to paint a pair of shoes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've done so well. There is still another layer to paint over this side. Okay. And then I'm really glad that you guys came because I wanted to ask about the shadow here. I was thinking a bit of pink and purple, but then I changed my mind. Good thing you changed your mind because pink will not work in the space. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking more black, gray and white. That should work. It's more chic and yeah. it fits in the space. Yeah. 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 And then it should be done. And um, where, where's it going to go? Oh, the glam room! <laughs> we are creating a space where we want somebody to just walk in and immediately feel feminine and empowered. And I think red bottom shoes are 
the statement thing. Coco Chanel. Yes. <laughs> so everything for us, woman empowerment. So then it's got to have a frame. Yes. We're actually thinking about that. What framing options do we have on something like this? You can definitely frame a canvas. Mm -hmm. we'll go for black or maybe a wooden frame. Mm -hmm. Well, we were thinking some stone. It'll look beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait yeah. to see it. Okay. Oh, no. Can't do. <laughs> We're visiting our collaborator Oliver Sherrill just to discuss um, some details with our headboard and this should go very well. How's it? How's it going guys? Please take a seat. Good. Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. It's coming through. Oh. Thanks for coming in guys. Your fabric arrived this morning. Amazing. That looks great. Yo, that texture is really nice. I brought the sketches again and we just wanted to chat through the finer details. Cool. Thank you. Fabric-wise, perfect for this kind of headboard. From a construction perspective, the guys are going to do it in three separate sections. I think just the length of it and actually how heavy it's going to be, you know, it'll just make it, you know, logistically a little bit easier as well. One thing I just wanted to chat about was the just the plug points. Just a bit of clarity on exactly, you know, where those need to sit and you know what we must allow for. The plug points actually would be positioned on each end of the wall, just on the back wall of it, and it's going to be positioned above the skirting that we have. Okay. So we just wanted to kind of have the plug point onto the headboard and not really against the wall itself, so it's going to look like it's part of the headboard. Yeah, I mean we can just cut the appropriate holes um, and then when we actually fix it to the wall, you know, we can bring along the actual plug faces and just put those on, so just make sure it's nice and neat. Great, I think that'll make it a lot easier for the user to access the plugs. I think we've got, we've got it under control. Awesome. That is amazing. Fantastic. We're happy. Happy days. Oliver looks like he is in the same brainwave as us. Mm. I'm very excited to see how he kind of interprets our design of just wrapping the headboard and just covering and hugging the bed and our bedside pedestals. And that fabric, if a color had a flavor, Oof. it would be that delicious. We decided for the first challenge to actually collaborate with ourselves, East House Custom Furniture and Interior Installations, where we have our Murphy's Law Bed unit being manufactured and a couple of other things. It's going to be very cool. How's it going here? Hey, how's it going, hey. man? Yeah. Looking good, hey? Coming along, coming very along. Very nice. So where are we at with all of this? We're going to finish sanding up the base and then we can put a little bit of the oil on it. Uh, we've already done a beautiful job of oiling all the panels. Um, yeah, the, all the doors and everything have been done in a very nice ash wood veneer. So it's a real wood skin that's put on the board. Uh, and then we use a special um, special oil to give it a very nice colour and, and texture to it, yeah. Um, and then once this bed closes up, we're going to put a nice big mirror on it. It's going to be a beautiful Science. hidden thing, yeah. We also had a good session doing those beautiful wild olive shelves for you as well. So yeah, those nice thick wild olive boards, we basically um, have skinned them off at the back and they'll sit nicely as floating shelves on the wall. Should we give this Murphy's Law bed mechanism a test to see if it actually works? I'm ready to try. Let's, let's see if it works, eh? Yeah, yeah let's, let's give this a go. go. So just lift it up slowly. Okay, so far so good. Cheerio! Cheerio. <laughs> oh, awesome, it's hey? So stunning, hey? And then the mirror. Oh, it's gonna I'm be so excited. Can't wait to see this in. <laughs> we are doing some awesome welding work and we are making a custom bed base out of steel that has been inspired by the building's facade and the staggered pillars, bringing in that linear element. And we're also doing a steel frame macrame headboard, which will be done by ourselves because we are both skilled in macrame. Right, oh, looks like we're almost ready to get weaving, hey? No, it's looking gorgeous. I'm very glad we went with a natural hemp product, although it's very rough on the hands. Yeah, it's worth it though. It's, it's definitely true to itself as a material. How long do you think it's going to take us to, to finish this? I think it's going to take us long enough, so we should probably get going. Half up? Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. There's nothing quite like getting in there and just getting your hands dirty. <laughs> And while they get their hands dirty creating those beautiful spaces, make sure that you use your hands to engage with us on social media. And you could be seeing your name live on TV. So some of the tweets that I received most recently, one was from Terence Flandorp who says, hashtag winner home. To win this home will be a dream come true for my wife and I. We really enjoy watching every week. Thanks for being part of the show, dude. I've got another one that came through from A King ZA who says, winner home, don't forget to leave my keys under the doormat. My whole family can't wait. Siblings are moving in too. Then also got this really cool tweet from Miss Page, King Fifi M says, 
says, after tonight's challenge, I think I have my favorite design duo. Hashtag win a home. Let us know who that is going to be. And then one last one was for a birthday shout out. Hanifa, happy birthday to you. Said it's my birthday today and winning a home would be the best gift and life changer for me and my family. Thanks for that tweet. And to you, Tina Bayer as well too. I also saw your tweets come through. Don't forget to use the hashtag win a home. Engage all of our sponsors and SABC3 to ensure that you see your name on TV as well. After the break, we could be calling you live on air to be far, a part of our first comp- uh, participant in our Capitech Open the Door giveaway. So keep your phones handy and stay right where you are. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Mzansi, welcome back to Winner Home Season 5 on SABC3 Live and Direct. It's time for us to launch a brand new feature for the season. It's called Capitec Open the Door Giveaway, and it works like this. We have randomly uh, drawn one name from all the grand prize competition entries this past week on privateproperty.co.za, and that lucky viewer will now get the opportunity to choose one of these three doors and win the prize behind it. Now, this week's, uh, we've decided to hide 5,000 Rand Valence Vacha, a 5,000 Rand Durham Paint Vacha, and a 10 person Sensation Supreme Queen Bed Set from Van Casa, valued at 50,000 Rand. Now, here to open the door for us tonight, we have Melanie Selyer, Communication Coordinator from Capitex Dallas. Bush. Welcome. Right, it's time to give away some prizes. Tonight, our lucky viewer is Lucky Bupape from Kopolukwani. Hello, you've had the prizes, Lucky, hidden behind the doors. Now, which door would you like us to open? Um, which door would you hello. like us to open, Lucky? And door number one. Door number one. Which, what, what color is it? The red one. The red one, okay. Melanie, would you yeah. like to open the red door for Lucky in Polokwane? Oh, Tata Bupa, Pika Jenu, Awina. Congratulations! Wow, Lucky, you won a 10 person station. Supreme Queen Best Set from Van Casa, valued at 50,000 Rand. Wow, congratulations. Are you ready to win some more, Lucky? Yes, I'm ready to do some more. Ah, uh, who's going to tonight? <laughs> one of our sponsors for this season, Samsung is giving you the chance to win a second time, dude. So if you answer the simple product-related question correctly, you will walk away with, listen to this, a brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone. One of the best features of this Note 9 is definitely the all-new S Pen that now boasts powerful Bluetooth technology, letting you press a button to take control of your camera, presentations, and apps without even touching your phone. And another favorite of mine is the dual aperture camera that is intelligently recognizing uh, what you're looking at. So it's optimizing color, settings, contrast, etc., as well as white balance, exposure, and so much more. And by detecting blinks and blurs, you can reshoot while the moment is right and get that perfect selfie. Do you want to win this phone, dude? Well then, all you have to do is answer this very simple question, all right? Your question tonight is, what product enhancement does the new S Pen of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 boast? Come again. What uh, feature does the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 uh, S Pen boast? It connects to the phone, dude. How does it connect to the phone? Through the Bluetooth. Congratulations! That's correct! Well done! Yeah. <laughs> Were you using a Note 9 to Google that? I'm pretty sure, right? Congratulations, dude. Thank You're a winner. Thank you. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Yeah. 
lucky. Today is probably your lucky day because there is yet another opportunity for you to win. Now, the question is, are you a Capitec client, Lucky? Yes, I'm a Capitec client. Ah, oh, congratulations. You've won yourself an additional 5,000 rand just for being a Capitec client. Oh, Thank lucky you. man. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Congratulations okay. on being our first winner on the show. Goodbye, Lucky. Enjoy your prizes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, if you at home would like to be our next Capitec Open the Door winner, then make sure you enter our grand prize competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Behind the doors next week are a Caesar Stone Dr. and Mrs. Lamp with 12,000 Rand, Daniel Klein His and Hairs watches with 3,800 Rand, and a 5,000 Rand Veyland's voucher. But that's not all. <laughs> This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw, where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with the Samsung Gear Icon X Fitness Earbuds with built-in music player, voice command coaching, and built-in heart monitor. And if that's not enough, Capitech clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Winner Home, every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. At Part of Play Lifestyle Estate, our design duo is about to approach that halfway mark towards completing their first challenge. So I decided to pop in and just see how things were going. I am really stressing out about how far we are at this stage. I was actually really hoping we would be a lot further. Yeah. Yeah, if we push on the painting and we get all the taping done and I don't even want to think about this guy right now, like there's, yeah, we've got to hustle. Hello, Perma peeps. Guys, halfway through the first challenge. It's a double challenge. This is looking pretty impressive, I won't lie. I do find this aesthetic quite interesting, the sort of white wooden covered doors against the brown. Is that intentional? Is that going to change? We've actually named this our Murphy's Law unit. Uh -huh. And it's because this is actually going to be a Murphy's bed. What? That folds out. So if you have guests and you need to accommodate extra people, you fold out a full double bed. This isn't its final finish. We still have a reflective material coming on here. So when you're not using it as a bed and you're using the space for your activities, so your yoga or Pilates or whatever, it's kind of nice to sort of watch what you're doing while you're doing your Is thing. it operational? Yes. Okay. Please can we open it up? Yes. <laughs> and oh, seriously, I've never seen one of these things in yeah, real life before. Do. Oh, don't break anything on its way down. Yeah, it comes out. Guys, congratulations. This is such a cool feature. The judges are going to love this. Thanks. Yeah, this isn't the only thing that folds out, but we'll save that for a surprise for, for later. This is really awesome, guys. The only thing I will say to you is make sure that this thing is functional. There's nothing worse than pretty design that is dysfunctional, all right? No, that's, that's all the loose right. ends that we'll be tying up yeah. today and tomorrow. So listen, what's happening next door? I see there's an unfinished headboard there. How's it going there? Our stress factor at the moment is we've got a hand-woven macrame headboard that we're busy working on and it's a lot of knots to tie and it's a little harsh on the fingers, but we're pushing, we're pushing through and it's gonna be so beautiful when it's in place. And then still to come, we've got steel rails going in, which will have our hanging plants, as well as floating shelves, which are gorgeous. <laughs> well, good luck to you both. Lots still to be done. And the real question now is, will you finish or not? <laughs> <laughs> We're at the halfway mark right now. Yeah, I guess you'd always want to be further along than, than what you are, but I think we're getting there. Yeah, a lot is happening though, but we are quite further than what we had expected. The carpet is going in. Ooh, I can smell it. Let's chat out here. <laughs> what is going on here? All these poles. Do you guys know you're in a secure complex? You don't need to build a fence indoors. What are these? This is our DIY project, but it's about midway. Um, we've got the other piece that we were halfway through and then we had to stop so that the, the carpeting guys could get going. The thing that's worrying us the most, I think, is very ambitious 
weight of our DIY project. Um, so we're busy chatting to the engineers and seeing if we are able to hang it to the roof. We have a fixing mechanism, but it's going to be a big challenge. What exactly will this turn into? It's going to be our bulkhead above our guest bed. So it's basically going to look like a, a fence, just pasted on the ceiling. So in some ways, it's like a fence above you to keep nightmares out. Got Catching it. the dreams, basically. Bringing the natural elements in. <laughs> now at the halfway mark, what still needs to be done? What has been done? The challenges that we face, basically, is just that everything is seemingly arriving all at the same time. And this, this pole structure is our main kind of priority right now. I've seen you guys got something interesting going on there with the skirting. I love the idea. Did it pan out the way you would have hoped? So it was kind of a challenge. I'm kind of trying to convince the supplier that we just want to run the Augie up as skirting. And mimicking, trying to mimic that in our carpets with the height of that was also a challenge trying to convince our installer that this is actually is going to look nice, it's going to work. But it's yeah, very cool how the, the installers have come on board with that mm. and uh, I think the detail we've achieved uh, with this timber, timber skirting and the Ogi offcuts is, is really turning out really nice. Have you guys had a peek across at the other homes? Is there anyone you feel threatened by at this stage? Oh, we're not interested in what they're doing. I honestly don't care. We haven't <laughs> seen anything. Out of sight, out of mind. Own pace, own race. Cozy Home is doing the most. Our covers are being installed. Danilo is about to arrive. And we've got nothing concrete to show him, except men, lots of men, installing our cupboards right now. Hey, the glam girls. How's it going, Hi. Timon and Kay? Hello. This looks amazing. Uh, well, we're trying to keep calm, <laughs> but yeah. inside we are panicking. Uh, there's a lot that still needs to be done. We're just hoping for the best, really. Well, unpack that for us. What are the stresses? The cupboard's not complete. Um, our chandelier is not in, but the track light is in, so we, we sorted on that one. The skirting as well still needs to be painted, you know, and the walls also still need to be refreshed and painted so that everything looks brand new when we hand over. And then there are things we can't tell you yet because they're surprises, but they're not here yet. Well, surprises scare me. Does that mean it's just not going to arrive? Arrive surprise or something exciting surprise? No, 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 no. They're going to arrive. No, they will be there. Stay optimistic. We have to win this challenge. I mean, if you start riot, you end riot, right? Yes. <laughs> Well, the design duos are going to be in for a big surprise on deadline day if they don't get a move on. But one person who's grinning from ear to ear is tonight's lucky winner. Lucky Bupa Ape from Limpopo Pulukwani who scooped all three prizes tonight, which totals a value of 74,000 rand. Can you believe this? Yes, lucky, yes. You know those times at work where you just want to quit your job and go do something else? This is one of those days. I want those prizes. Congrats, Lucky. Let's be friends. Oh, oh, quit your job and go meet up with Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's be friends, dude. Make sure that you tune in again next week to find out. Until then, good night. <laughs> next week on Winner Home, the design contestants rush to complete the rooms of their first challenge. Will they make it in time before the deadline? And what will the judges think of their efforts? Sure, looks like something's missing in this room. Plus, stand in line to win amazing weekly prizes and your chance of winning the grand prize, your very own home. Catch Winner Home, Thursdays at 7.30pm on SABC3. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.